This is Mary Lou Gully. She was abandoned by her father 83 and a half years ago. Boyce Luther Gully left his wife and child to settle here in Phoenix, Arizona to build this. And this beautiful place that my father built for me, Mystery Castle. Mary Lou wasn't abandoned, however, out of a lack of love. When Mr. Gully found out he had tuberculosis, he just left his wife and daughter in Seattle. He came to Arizona believing he had only a few months to live. He lived another 15 years. When he was sick and he did it really big time, he knew what he was doing. It's, it's, it's marvelous what he did. He created 18 rooms, 13 fireplaces, 8,000 square feet. And when he died in 1945, he actually died of cancer at the age of 62. He left uh, the property to his daughter. She's lived here 64 years, and she's been giving tours for 61 of those years. My name is Rita, and I've been helping her off and on for over 25 years. Mr. Gully was an eccentric. He built his castle using organic materials like stone, adobe, and goat's milk. He also used found items like glass dishes, railroad tracks, and telephone poles. And when his car broke down, he even made windows from its wheels. Gully also had a great eye for the rare and bizarre collectible. He collected all the antiques and artifacts which clutter the castle. Although Mary Lou is no longer able to guide the tours personally, she still loves to sit and talk with the people who visit her home. The Mystery Castle is more than a home. It's a work of art. There's a lot about the castle the visitors find appealing, but most of all, it's the story of a man and his relentless dedication to his daughter. The fact that somebody had a dream and had guts to carry on what he did, he lived on, and he promised me my castle, and he did. I've lived here ever since. <laughs>